Coming up on the Thursday Night Teams AFL Today show, we are breaking down every single game in Round 17. Hey, Stats Boy, what's your favourite thing to look at this week? My beloved North Melbourne are finally going to get a win and beat Gold Coast. How about you, social guy, Leo? Well, my beloved Hawthorne are going down to the Cattery and see if they can win down there. Oh, not bad. We are breaking down every single game. We've got one big question for each of them. We've got all the tips, all the picks, everything you need, all in this show. It's the AFL Today show. Check it out right now. Thursday. July 4, happy birthday, America. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, sure. I don't know if it's actually birthday. It's like their Independence Day. So no, it's, it's not. Like, it's not actually like when they were formed. So Freedom yeah, Day. Yeah, Washington Freedom. They're going to go blow <laughs> the, the best part about like, so having lived in the States for a little while, they're like, how do we celebrate freedom? Let's blow some stuff Fireworks. up. Fireworks. And you're like, yeah, blowing stuff's great. Like, it's just like, let's go. And then Skadoosh, you have a small dog, and he's like, oh, I don't like this. Do you? <laughs> yeah. I don't like this at all. I'm like, I don't know, man, get in the spirit. Yeah, this this holiday on. was made by like a kid. Really? Yeah. It's like- Blow stuff up. It Maybe, is. yeah. My bit. I love it. It's great. Yeah. Anyway, the best part about July 4 is just watching Independence Day, though. It's just like, yeah. It's like Will Smith, great. Aliens. <laughs> great movie. Bill Pullman. <laughs> Pullman or Paxton? I don't know. I don't know. Why not both? <laughs> we need no more bills. <laughs> All right, July 4, let's do the news. Jeez, that was a tangent. <laughs> <laughs> Gather and Round was announced. We've got some dates. Have you we booked do. in your flights, Leo? I have. Hey, dude, the yeah. funny thing is he actually has. Yeah, me and my mates are going. That's why, oh, I, asked, yeah. that's why I asked the question. Did so you far. think he actually did, though? I actually did know. Oh, oh, there you go. See, that's called a tee up in the biz. Oh, so there you go. I just wanted him to talk about how he actually has. This yeah. is deja vu to our cricket show, to be fair, when <laughs> I was trying true. to tee up him. So yeah, I've gone full circle. We're not on the same wave. I've gone full circle. But yeah, I have, and I'll meet you guys there for some content. We're going to make Stats Boy walk now. So if he's going to keep staying. Yeah. on my jokes. I'll go Forrest uh, Gump. I'll leave now and then grow the beard out. Forrest Gump style. Right I reckon now. your beard just goes sideways. It like does, that. it does. I've told you that. It doesn't go nice and straight like your one. It's like not, yeah, it's not very- it Makes uh, me look fat. It's bad. What is it? The idea of like the, uh, the sort of the wind hitting it, it, just, it turns into like a sail. So yeah. Mine does that <laughs> on the odd occasion. goes, splits out either side. <laughs> Looks ridiculous, but anyway, Thursday, April 10 to Sunday, April 13, we might have a Barossa Valley game. Ooh, it looks like- on the penis. Yep. That'd be very uh, nice. We might not have the Mount Barker game, however. So, could get a bit rough, a bit sad. More Norwood, though, so that's all good. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. I enjoyed Norwood. Norwood was awesome. Uh, it was good to see flights automatically just jacked up by the partner oh, airlines. Absolutely. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, that's, that's crap. Got to get in quick. May as well. I still reckon we just make Stats Boy walk. It'll be funnier. Content. Uh, as long as I'm not even going there, don't The SA Premier has just come out and just gone, yeah, look, you know, when I was having a chat about it staying here in Adelaide, <clears throat> when I was chatting to Gil back in the olden days, so like, don't put it in Sydney, man. It's just, it's rough as guts over there, bro. He used some words I can't use on this show. Oh, did he? He, oh. Dropped, he dropped some swears. Oh, no. Swears. Premiers swears. don't swear. No. <laughs> Politicians don't I swear. Show never swear. No, no. Give Barnaby a few tins and see what he reckons. Uh, <laughs> But Peter Malinowski, because I've like he was actually uh, we when we were over there, he was like just hanging out in the uh, studio just before us. He was actually, uh, I forgot about that. And yeah, yeah, he's obviously a big champion, to stats guy, big right. champion yeah. of SA and stuff. So I love it. I think Adelaide is the perfect spot because yeah. they were breaking down some of the numbers. It was like two hundred plus thousand people there, right? Mm -hmm. They reckon only thirty three percent came from outside of South Australia, which I think was wildly bodgy. No way. But like, surely we can up that number. What yeah. are we doing here? Put on some more flights, boys. What yeah, are you doing? Come on. Either way, love Gather Round. Love it in Adelaide. Yep. Don't screw with a good thing. Exactly. Cody Waitman, not screwing a good thing either because he's staying with the dogs for another two years the after play. his current actual extension. Because mm. he's already got a contract. Until next year, right? To, to the, uh, 2025. Yeah. Wow. This is through to 2027. It feels like they have more pressing issues. It's weird. Bailey oh. Smith, Tim English. You don't need to Bailey Smith's been in Europe. They oh, just got back. That doesn't Bontempelli out of contract next year? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, they got to sign Waitman first. That's okay. Waitman, I don't think that's a good. That's a good move. He's a good player. I think Bailey's already on the Hawks. So oh, yeah. the Hawks. I don't know if we no, Pies. I think. I think he's going Pies. Uh, who else is trying to like snag him as well? There's like oh, man, probably the Cats. North. The Cotton on connection. Actually, it'd be pretty good. Cotton for on. North. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's any Bonds or is he Cotton on? North would be no, good. He's cotton on. Oh. Other little bits and bobs uh, from the last day or so. Josh Battle, uh, our man Sam Landsberger upstairs, reckons that St Kilda a real chance of uh, snagging pick four and five as compensatory picks. Are they okay? For Josh Battle. Well, pick happen. four and five for Josh. What? It's, this is what happened with Ben Mackay, mate. It's about the deal. Ben Mackay's a good player. Josh Battle is one me? of the worst players in the comp. Anyway. Hey, wait, well, hang on. No, 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 no. <laughs> Josh Battle, I'd take him any day over Ben Mackay. Oh, my God. Any day is a key defender. Okay, fair enough. That's your. That's. I feel like the point here is this <laughs> might be just the death knell of the oh, compensa agency, compensation yeah. picks. You just yeah, go, well, oh, I, I think this year. is a dumb idea. Yeah. What are we doing? That's and I'm weird. pretty sure St Kilda have been the loudest, sookiest voice in the room about this sort of stuff as well. Yeah. Nine of us, everybody's getting compensatory <laughs> picks. Academy. <laughs> just be better. 
just be better. Yeah. Just stop sucking at yeah. like actually you're recruiting. Like what are you doing? Yeah. Anyway. Uh, and the final little bits, two mi- two more. Uh, dimmer on Dusty. There's yes. like folks out there. We talked about this yesterday, David Schwartz. I want to know what David Neitz reckons. Schwartz is like, it's done deal. Going to go. Yeah, I don't know training. where he's got that from, but anyway, he said it. Dimmer came out. He's like, oh, Dusty's a uh, contracted player at Richmond. Everyone's the like, classic line. Yeah, that's that's how contracts work. Yep. And he's playing for them currently. That's obviously for Dustin to decide in Richmond to work their way through. That's very important. It's, it's, it's like, hey, uh, hey, Dimmer. Just, just, just give us a wink if it's like it's already done. He's like, yeah. Dimmer's phone's on the table. Dusty's just like on hold. <laughs> just a picture of him and Dusty yeah. having a smooch. Like, uh, he's a really, really good player. There's no doubt about that. And every single club would be crazy if they didn't sit there and at some stage make an assessment. That's just not true. He's old now. Like 17 other clubs were always looking for good players. I don't know if 17 other clubs want Dusty. No, he's a bit past it. He's 30. Yeah. What is he? 35. Oh, I'd be a bit younger. 36. Oh, yeah. He's, anyway, he's past it. Yeah. Gold Coast is no different. Those list management calls will get made at the end, back end of the year. Mm. Sure. This is just going, maybe. Maybe. I still think, I said at the start of the year, it's happening. I don't think it's a good move by the Gold Coast, but it is going to happen. My favorite one, though, is Paul Ruse. Is uh, not entirely convinced that the top level of footy is that great now. It was better back in the 80s. He Every player that played in the 80s, oh, it was better back in the 80s. Paul Ruse <laughs> came out and said that there would be the B team of Carlton, the Carlton Reserves oh, of the go. 80s. <laughs> The 80s Carlton Reserves would beat current day North Melbourne. Hey, well, hang on, hang on. <laughs> no, but that is just not true. The, the reserves of North Melbourne would beat those reserves. Old man thinks old things were better back in his day. <laughs> News at six. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was like, God, everyone's so much tougher. The current day North Melbourne would beat the absolute head. Exactly. Of a bunch of reserve Carlton players yes. who were full-time sparkies exactly. and plumbers and account and posties. Yes. Like, there's literal stories like, yeah, and then, like, he dropped off my mail on Monday. Yeah. You're like, what are you doing? <laughs> they'd run them off the ground, like, it's 18 minutes in the first quarter. They'd be like, oh, God, what is happening? They're having a like, dart at half time. They're, it's they're so much quicker now. This is, like, Paul Ruse, old man shakes fist at cloud. <laughs> like, what are we doing? <laughs> That's where, insane. Where has Paul Roos been? I feel like oh, yeah, he's saying this from to get him back a long time. Yeah. You know? like, yeah, maybe he is. This is probably why he doesn't pop his head up so much. <laughs> That's why he's not coaching anymore. If you like the vibe of this AFL Today show, I'll tell you what. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all the good stuff. The full shows are unreal. Check it out. Go on. Do it now. Do it. <laughs>